Let u be equal to the set of vectors x, y, z in R3, such that x, y, and z are in the set of integers. v be equal to the set of vectors x, y, z in R3, such that x plus 2y, z is equal to 6. And w be equal to the set of vectors a plus b, a squared, a minus b, such that a and b are in R. For each of the following vectors, decide which, if any, of u, v, and w the vector is in. And there's 5 to decide. A, 0, 0, 0. Okay, well, let's just try them in turn. U is equal to this set. And the way to tell if a point is in U is if X, Y, and Z are all integers. So here, 0, 0, and 0 are all integers. So therefore, that point is in U. So this is in U since 0 is in Z. OK, let's decide if it's in V. OK, V, the way to tell if a point is in V is if it satisfies this equation. So we see 0 plus 2 times 0 times 0 is 0, and that's not equal to 6, so it can't be in V because 0, 0, 0 doesn't satisfy that equation. So 0, 0, 0 is not in V since 0 plus 2 times 0 times 0 is not equal to 6. So next we decide if it was in W. So W is this set. And the way to tell if something is in W is if I can write it like this for some A and B in R. That's not going to be so easy as the other two to decide. Um, but let's just think about it. If we want this to come out as 0, 0, 0, we could just choose both A and B to be 0, and that would do it. So 0 is in W, because I can choose A and B to be the right numbers to get 0, 0, 0 here. So 0, 0, 0 is in W since... 0, 0, 0 is equal to a minus, sorry, a plus b, a squared, a minus b, for a equals 0 and b equals 0. Excellent. That's the first one done. Let's try part b now. So minus 2, 1, 3. Right, first let's see if it's in U. Yes, it is, because to decide if something's in U, all three of the coordinates have to be integers, which is true for my set here. So that's in U since uh, minus 2 and 1 and 3 are all integers. Okay, is it in V? Well, I'd have to see if they satisfy this equation. So let's see. Minus 2 plus 2 times 1 times 3 uh, is equal to minus 2 plus 6, which is 4, which is not equal to 6. So they don't satisfy the equation, so this point's not in V. Right. Next, we just decide whether it's in W. So W was this set here, and we decide if it's in W if I'm able to write it like this for some A and B. And the easiest way to do that, since it doesn't appear obvious to me at all, is to attempt to solve the equations that are involved there. So if minus 2, 1, 3 is equal to a plus b, a squared, a minus b, then we'd get a plus b is equal to minus 2, a squared is equal to 1, and a minus b is equal to 3. 
and that would imply well the a squared equals 1 would mean that a is equal to plus or minus 1 and the top two equations if I add them together would mean that 2a was equal to 1 so a is equal to a half and so I've got two different answers for a three actually but it can't be both a half and plus or minus one at the same time so there's no solution for a and b so no solution for a so therefore uh, minus two one three is not in w so therefore minus two one three is not in w two thirds one ninth zero All right well i know already that that's not in u because to be in u everything had to be an integer so for example two thirds is not an integer so it can't be in u right is it in v well to be in v i would have to satisfy the equation for v so the equation for v was x plus 2 times yz so x plus 2 times y z well that's 2 thirds which is not equal to 6 so it's not in v either okay what about being in w well w was much much harder I had to see if there was a solution for a and b so let's say if two-thirds one-ninth zero is equal to a plus b a squared a minus b then a squared is a ninth which means a is plus or minus a third and also a plus b is two thirds and a minus b is zero so if we add those two equations together we'll get 2a is two thirds which means a is a third okay so we have a solution for a um, and so subbing that back into the original we'll get um, a third plus b is two thirds so b is a third as well so therefore it is um, in w because I've got a solution for a and b so therefore two thirds one ninth zero is in w since two thirds one ninth zero is equal to a plus b a squared a minus b for a equals a third and b equals a third okay what about part d the d was about the vector six zero zero well that's in u since six and zero are integers uh, let's see if it's in v that would be if it satisfies the equation so x plus two times y times z is six so it is in v is it in w well if six zero zero was equal to a plus b a squared a minus b then a squared would have to be zero which means that a is zero and also a plus b would have to be six and a minus b would have to be zero so two a would have to be six and a would have to be three okay so a can't be zero and three at the same time so no solution for a 
So therefore, 6, 0, 0 is not in W. One last vector to do. E. 0, root 3, root 3. Well, that's certainly not in U, since root 3 is uh, not an integer. Let's just see if my point satisfies the equation for V. So I've got x plus 2 times root 3 times root 3, which would be 2 times 3, which would be 6. So actually it is in V. And now I just need to check to see if it's in W. So if 0 root 3 root 3 is equal to a plus b a squared a minus b, then a squared is root 3, so a is plus or minus the fourth root of 3. It's not looking promising. Uh, and a plus b is equal to 0 and a minus b is equal to root 3 so 2a is equal to root 3 and a is root 3 on 2 so no solution for a therefore it's not in w no solution for a so therefore 0 root 3 root 3 is not in W. And that's the end of the problem. I think it's interesting that W was much, much harder to decide if things were in or not, and that must have been based on the way it was written. See, this one there was just a rule to help you decide if something was in it, but this one, the only way to decide was to see if you could write it a certain way. So I'm going to keep that in mind next time I try and do something like this.